Good evening all and welcome to Financial Freedom. My name is Samir Bapat and today we are going to analyze three things. What is the current market situation? Uh, that is one. Second, we are going to analyze what history tells us. So how it is going on currently. We may have different names, different perspective, but does history tell us anything about the current market situation? We'll go through it. Third is how we create wealth in current market. Can we create wealth in current market? What should be doing uh, or we should not be doing? So uh, not doing also can create wealth. So uh, let's see what all we can do um, in today's session. Now, uh, before we go ahead, uh, just type your answer. How many of you are not happy with the current market you are seeing? Maybe you are investing in the portfolio and then you are seeing it going down. So Gaurav is saying, I'm happy. Very good. Good to know. How about others? Are you happy? Yes, no, not happy. It's going down. Okay. Okay. How many of you are not getting good feeling? No, you know, the hai, market hai, but like for quite some time, it is uh, not very comfortable with the market, right? Whatever we thought, uh, it's not happening like that. If you're having that feeling, type yes. If you're having, market if you're not, if you're having that feeling, type yes. Yes, okay, okay. Only few people are answering. Other people are either joined from the uh, chat or, okay, great. So a few more uh, answers, great. Thank you, thank you for the response. Okay, and how many of you are happy about the current market? No, I'm very happy. Okay, I got one answer, I'm happy. Or how many of you are thinking, kya question hai? Matlab, main abhi, I, I have just started in stock market. So these questions are very uh, alien to me. So that is also uh, possible. So you might be thinking why this fellow is asking this question. I'll tell you uh, in a short time uh, <clears throat> why I asked this question. Now, one, my very basic question to you all is, what if your portfolio, if you are investing and you see it going down, 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 uh, or it remains at the same level, you invested 10 lakh rupees and it stays 10 lakh rupees or in one year it goes down, uh, it becomes negative in one year, it goes by 10 to 20% down, will you still be investing in stock market? Yes, no. Okay, so I have mixed answers. Okay, yes, yes, we will definitely. Okay, great. For three years also? Okay. <laughs> okay, great. I'm very happy to see I'm getting very positive answers that yes, if it, even if it is uh, showing negative portfolio, we'll keep investing. Uh, so <clears throat> if you're saying yes, fantastic. That is the purpose of this webinar that to convince you all that even if it is going negative, why you should keep investing or rather than uh, don't let it go negative, analyze the stock market and see whether how far we can invest, right? When we should be starting to invest in the market. Now, let me give you the bad news first. Now, what happens is a common investor loses the patience in a year, year, one year is very long duration. It looks a very short duration when we look at the history. But if you see from the psychology perspective of investor, one year is very long. When we start investing, we see our portfolio every day. Okay, how much it has gone up or how much it has come down. Then when we see it going negative, gradually we lose our interest after two, three months is still negative. We stop looking at it. Then we look after three months, it's still negative, more negative. Then we think, it would have been better if I would have put money in uh, FD and we have all those thoughts in our mind. It is very, very important to understand how it has been, markets have been behaving historically, right? So uh, I'll just take you through some historical numbers. 
थ्री ईयर इज अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम टू थाउजेंड ईयर टू थाउजेंड टू ईयर टू थाउजेंड थ्री the market kept on going down going down going down going down and from 2000 level till 2003 the market went down by 30% 3 years investor had to patiently wait for 3 years before they could see good returns they could see some returns after that second historically if we see 2008 to march 2009 almost one year the market kept going down going down from the peak of 2008 till march 2009 it had gone down by 60% not 10% 20% the entire portfolio of many many people would have gone down by 60% in one year so you keep patience and it goes down november 2010 to jan 2012 almost one one year it kept on going down it went down by 30% from its peak jan 2013 till jan 2014 market was at the same place it did not go down but it tested the patience for one year 2015 to again one year it went down by 30% in one year why i am sharing this numbers with you all is it's all good to know to hear from the tv to see all those whatsapp forwards or nice quotes from warren buffet it's not the time you it's not about timing the market but time in the market it's all okay gyan is all okay but when it comes really applying that gyan when it comes to real patience of keeping your head and heart cool one year is a long time and if you are not aware that this things happen often common investors lose their patience and bolte nahi yaar so stock market bekar hai yaar main paisa lagaya tha i put my money uh, it went down by 30% i could have kept it in my fd this is one thing which every investor says so the objective was to show historically it happens markets go down and they keep going down for more than one year so it's a natural phenomena it's not a unique phenomena which is happening right now so is the market going to go down for one year i don't know now the important thing is not that it goes down for one year the important thing is what happens when it starts going up and we will see what happens when it starts going up so it is very very important that you understand two aspects of it one it goes down it may go down for year or more than one year but when it goes up it rockets up correct tarun absolutely right so it rockets up you should be knowing after i show this examples we will go and analyze the current nifty chart what we should expect how much we should expect it to fall if it is falling how long we have to keep and when we should be starting to pump more money some ideas there is no guarantee or warranty i'll just take you through the charts if you are convinced you can take actions accordingly we are good to go everyone okay can i have yes from all of you if you are ready to see the analysis and when to get ready to earn money okay great thank you let's go to the charts let's speak to the charts first just a minute give me one minute let me prepare the charts and then let's go through it okay now okay i want you to observe this is a weekly chart huh? this is a weekly chart of the nifty this is weekly chart of nifty and how it looks why i am saying is two things you have to observe here how it looks and uh, what happens after it goes up i'll tell you why i'm insisting on everyone to observe how it looks now <clears throat> if you can see from 2000 year 2000 till 2003 it kept on going down from this peak till here it almost went down by 50% one second thing is you have to observe it does not fall in a one go 
it is not a slide or something it will go down in waves so if you see there is a it will go down retrace again go down retrace go down retrace so it goes down as a wave the good news is once it starts going up it went up from this point to this point it went up almost by 100% if you see from here till 2008 it went up by almost 1000 to 6000 five years almost how much percentage 95 500 percent it went up agreed but the key was the people who kept the patience that is one part second thing is when it starts going up it starts crossing the previous peaks if you see this is the peak this is the peak this is the peak this is the peak this is one peak this is one peak when it starts going up it tells us when it is going up when it is starting to go up above the previous peak this is one indication okay market is telling us i am ready to go up why don't you load more money after it went to 2008 from 2008 top again it went down it went down almost 60% from here to here the entire fall was for one year people had to keep patience it kept on going kept on going down kept on going down till here one year not a small duration not a small thing to keep patience it kept on going down again when it started crossing the previous peaks see how fantastically it went almost recovered back till here from 2000 to here one year one and a half year 300% again it went down again see it is going down how it is going down in the waves it went down for one year went up again remained sideways then went up again for one year it kept on going down and so on and so forth so just to have a confirmation of what i am trying to present here and if i my if i have conveyed my message clearly to you this is the way market behaves and it is not that it will keep on going unilaterally on the upward side if you are investing in stock market you have to understand that every one or two years it will go down one it will not go down with a rapid speed it will go down gradually it will may take a year or so for some time to go down by 20 to 30% from its peak third point is if you keep patience of one year if you are observing and keeping patience for one year the markets rewards you for your patience and looking out for good stocks is this three messages very clear have i communicated this three messages very clear can i have yes if this things is very clear to you yes okay now coming to the current market before coming to the current market i just want you to observe this thing see how the markets are falling it does not go in one year it will a slide nahi hai that it will slide down it goes up comes down goes up comes down if you see here if you see this patch one year patch the way it is going down one year patch this was little rapid but still it took one year now <clears throat> if you come to this patch what we are observing from almost october 2021 do you find some similarity the way it is going down with the falls fall which has happened early 3 to 4 fall which i have shown are you finding similarity in the pattern the way it goes down yes so that is our foundation of uh, taking the judgment that if it is falling down and we are already losing our patience if someone is losing their patience then 
you need to keep your patience with the current market movement you may have to keep your patience at least till november for one year i'm calculating one year it may become december that is point number 1 point number 2 is if you see this fibonacci retracement it retraces by 30% if you are sitting here and if it retraces by 30% <clears throat> 38% normally markets retrace by 38% if it is retracing it is going back on a up move it has taken and as you can see it is coming to the support level here so i am just estimating i am just presenting history to you and i am presenting the data how it retraces in front of you if we are expecting the market the market may go down by november till 14442 maybe some 1000 points more that is around 8 to 10% from the current scenario so far so good yes no so the message is keep patience till at least till october if it is going down don't lose your patience be happy that it is preparing to give you 100% in one year second thing is if you are loading money maybe you can slow down the loading of money uh, they say buy on dip buy on dip but how much dip should happen i say start loading once you can convert the nifty into weekly chart once it gives indication of crossing this peaks on the weekly basis if you uh, see once it gives you indication that it's crossing the peaks here that is one way of loading the money when it goes up so that is where you should load up point number 3 is try to find out undervalued stocks because if the market falls there are some good companies which go out of flavor and uh, they fall rapidly and they give more returns than uh, your normal stocks i'll give you one example before we i take up the questions i'll take you to one stock which is called idfc IDFC Limited. The year was two thousand nine, and as you can see from two thousand eight peak, it went down to twenty three rupees. Unfortunately, I did not had much money. That I had money, but I did not had this knowledge that okay, this is how it behaves, uh, and uh, it went down. I purchased very few stocks, but you can see. it was pretty undervalued the market the stock market overall went by 100% in one year in one year itself the stock went up by 500% but unfortunately i was not aware that this is how the markets behave after one year it goes so i was not looking for the stock but this is the historical data only i am sharing was the market starts going down of course i'll be sharing few more stocks uh, which may likely go up why i am showing this data is if you compare with infosys infosys went from 120 till 420 so it was also very good 300 350% jump which is good enough in 1 and 1/2 years but you can as well find more undervalued stocks which will shoot up in 4 to 5 times in one year so the take is keep patience keep faith in indian growth wait for the market to settle down then invest what do you do from here to here start finding good stocks good company undervalued company and then invest fine everyone okay so far so good 
Yes. Okay. Great. So that's what I wanted to share today. Uh, that brings us to the end of the session. If you have any question, uh, let me know. We can go through them. Uh, okay. So Vishu is saying, what is your take on double averaging? So double averaging you can do. Yes. Uh, but how long you'll be able to do double averaging? You have the plan for uh, double averaging. Uh, you can unmute Vishu and uh, then if you're mute, you can unmute. Yeah. Yeah. No, I was just looking at certain stocks that let's say I have, I would have bought at very high value uh -huh. and then realized that, uh, you know, maybe I, I, I bought it at the wrong time. So now, uh, now that it's going down, maybe use this as an opportunity to bring the average price of those stocks down uh -huh. so that, you know, you, you, you can start to make some profit once okay. things actually move up. Okay. okay. Uh, so uh, one thing I would say, uh, no, since you mentioned double averaging, I thought uh, like you buy the double the quantity and it goes down, you buy four times that quantity. Do you mean by that, that double averaging or you are just saying the averaging? Yeah, no, the, the, the double averaging. Yeah. Double averaging. Whatever you just See, said. Yeah. I, I strongly, uh, like I'm more of a breakout trader. So I, uh, for me buying when the stock is going down, I call it catching on the falling, catching a falling knife. You don't know how far it will go, whether it will go down 30%, 40%, 60%, 90%. Uh, you don't know. So how far you will average. So I, Personally, I don't uh, believe in averaging. I normally believe when the stock turns around and starts going, that is when I start buying. So I, based on my experience, I would say don't average it. Let it go down. Let it start going up. At least from the bottom, let it go up by 15%. Then buy it. Thank you. Turning around, see like this, something it's not, even if you see the market, uh, see, like I showed you the example of IDFC uh, in 2009, see it, it kept on going down, down, down. So if you see, this is a weekly chart. This is the peak. This is a peak. This is a peak. This is the first crossing the, of peak and second. So without if we are following a breakout method in such cases, when the stocks are going down, convert into weekly chart, <clears throat> see where the peak is. If it is crossing the peak, you might miss this opportunity, but you might as well save your money till it goes down. So patiently, all your money will be in your pocket and your happiness index will be with you. <laughs> and when it starts going up from here, you may take, you might not catch it at the bottom, but you no need. We are not jugglers, right? We don't juggle with the knife. We are not expert in juggling those knives. So let, let this much amount go. Enter here still 200, 300% is okay. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thank you. Uh, so another is, uh, please show Fibonacci again. Okay. Uh, let's take to Nifty. And we have, we, let's come to the current market price. And this is the indicator here. The second, third one from here, you press here, take to retracement, go to the bottom here, uh, market till here. And this is your Fibonacci retracement. This since it has crossed uh, this 28%, 23% uh, already, the next level, uh, it will take support is around 38. There was a chance it would have taken the support here. It did take a chance. Uh, it did take a support here, went up uh, this week. Let's see how it turns out. If it remains this week and next week also below this line, then uh, there is a quite good chance that it might slide and come till here in the coming days. That is how it works. Okay, undervalued gems, Anurag, I have taken a webinar where I have uh, taken through, I have uh, uploaded the recording also, you can go through that on the YouTube, how to unearth the undervalued gems. So I've uh, gone through the entire webinar in that. Okay, Fibonacci, I have done. Any other questions we have before we end the session? <clears throat> no questions? Okay, great. So thank you. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Uh, Satish. So yes. Fibonacci, you always take from the bottom or take from the top? 
uh, you take from the bottom. If it is going up, see, it is something like this. Okay. If, you, if you, it is going up, you take from the bottom. And okay. if it is going down, like I will show you the current situation. If you see, uh, if you see here, the price has gone down from here to here. Yes. And it has retraced and going down. Yes. Now, if you see here, if, uh, if I take from this peak, then since I have to see how far it will go down, I have to take from the peak mm. and measure it till the uh, bottom from where it has bounced. Now mm. it has gone down. It has retraced till 38.2. How far it will go? Then we have to see how far down it has gone from here to here, measure it. So it has gone down by 2,383 points, almost mm. approximately. Keep it here. And if we see here, then uh, there is a possibility that see, and whatever oh. <clears throat> percent oh. from the peak, we are thinking it's almost matching. So we can take conservative estimate. Okay, 14,400 is what we are looking at. So this is how you can take. Okay. Okay. So when it is going down, take it huh. from the top, top to bottom, and then see how much it retraced. If it is going mm -hmm. up, take from bottom to top and see retracement. And then you can measure how okay. far it will okay. go. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Okay. And Arno is uh, saying, how do we decide whether to take a long or short position in the current week and indicators to use? You have to uh, do combination of uh, indicators. MACD is one of my favorites. Ichimoku is my lifetime favorites as of now. So I take Ichimoku for doing this uh, <clears throat> analysis. Okay. Uh, Sandeep is asking about Pidilite. Uh, let's say Pidilite. What do we say about Pidilite? Okay, so now uh, looks like it is in downward movement. Okay, so if you take in weekly chart, is it in support level? No. One, two. See, there are two, three things uh, in Pedilite. Uh, one is, let's see how it turns out. So one is, no, sorry. One is the FIBO retracement. Let's check from that point of view. So it has retraced till 50%. If we see from one point to this point, this is one possibility. So there is a possibility that it may go down <clears throat> till here, one sign, 795, that is one. Uh, second is, uh, it has formed a head and shoulder pattern here. One, this is the shoulder, this is the head, and this is the shoulder again. So if I remove this, and if I say this is the neckline from here, and this is the head from here till here, and if you match, and again, something like this, there's a possibility. So of the two, let's see which is the uh, support level it is touching. So both are support levels. See this one, if it falls, this is the one sub first support level and this, this is the second support level. So uh, there is a chance, let's pitch in some volumes, how the volumes are doing. Yeah, so if the volume, if you see, Going up volume was higher, coming up was coming down was less, going up was higher, coming down was less, and then the volumes are increasing. Yeah, so I think uh, mostly <clears throat> this is what my estimate is. Pretty light might go to 783. 1795, target one, 1644 is the target two. Okay, great. So uh, Sandy is saying, yes, uh, uh, Ichimoku indicator, it's a very specialized indicator, Sandy. So I take it in the advanced program. Okay, so Jubilee and food. Okay, so I'll take the last question on Jubilee and food and then we'll close the call. Let's say. Yeah. 
where it is what is the symbol this one jubilant industries what is the spelling of jubilant <clears throat> j u b i l a n t okay okay jubilant food works okay okay uh, okay so it's making uh let's say okay see it's in downtrend as of now uh so it will have to first go sideways and then go up so as of now i can say this is in downtrend only so don't i wouldn't say no i i not take all the stocks just go through this like if it is going don't buy before it crosses the peak right these are the simple peaks if you buy above the peak you will be safe if you are trying to catch falling knife best of luck samir just last one any reason why you are picking up weekly uh, this gives a clear vision say if i change to daily a weekly everyone even if a person is new he will be able to appreciate this peaks in okay. daily the okay. peaks become little hazy Okay. 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 Uh, Ritu Deepak Nitride is in trouble right now, so let it settle down and then we'll take. Fine. Okay. Uh, nice. Great. So nice. thank thanks a lot. Nice. Uh, thank you so much for joining uh, today. Uh, see you on next Tuesday. Thanks a lot.